fresh from London, here we go. Right in a rhythm with a lively flow. If you don't know, then get to know. Jump on a mic and show down the show. I was in college and I met Kerry and she came in to do a MC and DJ workshop. And since then, it's just been a roller coaster journey. I've toured New Zealand, I've had records on FIFA. I've started a record label, a company called Undeniable, recording studios, film company. There's just so much that's gone on since my involvement in Why You Were Here. So I was excited when um, I got the shout about being on the Universal project. And for them to kind of, for them to kind of invest in such a, a, a new company like Undeniable for me, showed where their heart really is, isn't it? And, and um, yeah, I gave it my all. And I'm excited for you guys to see what we got up to. This is my second official project with YUAF. I spent six weeks at a summer program for music development, arts development and production. And uh, now this is my second project for the Fresh in London EP. So yeah, Nazi. Nazi was, a, was an interesting session, man, because he originally came in as, a, as an artist and a producer. When I saw his production style, he had something which was current. He had like a drill rhythm, but then he mixed it with a really emotional sample. And I just enjoyed the whole session, man. I think now he's super talented. He's focused. He, he knows what he wants. He knows where to find these sounds. He knows his way around the program. So for me, it was it was an exciting session. I see the push, but now I thought they didn't know I couldn't read it, but now I'm doing good. Everybody see the need a hook. Remember you and I was grinding the door before. Yeah, that's the dude that I've been shining, bro, before time And I knew it would be time and show See my chin is actually moving like a diamond I'm doing good, that's why they follow me I'm not changing when that shit can never bottle me Before I buy a girl a bag, I need a proper E Gotta do it properly, I used to put Monopoly So Matthew came in super focused He had that kind of laser focus He knew what he wanted to do He'd actually been, like, trained on, on the piano So when it came to, like, melodies and We just had fun, we just made beat after beat after beat I think we made maybe four or five beats to pick from within the time frame. Yeah, yeah, it could be good. Yeah. In the next couple of years, I probably see myself working for a label potentially, or owning my own record label, even like Coda does. Stay in the third note. Before I used to just create um, quite short ideas and I'd never really finished them. Here I managed to complete four tracks. Aphrodite, the bundle of joy. So Aphrodite came in super full of energy. And do you know what it is about Aphrodite? She has this old school nostalgic garage vibe. I think you you got to set the scene a bit more with your voice, and by that I mean yeah. um, just just really go into your character yeah, right. of taking me through that journey. 
um, the majority of the kind of day was like working on the beat, um, getting the sections right, like the intro, the verses, the chorus, the outro. And then um, from there, I wrote uh, my lyrics. Um, and I was quite pleased that I was able to finish the lyrics. I, I grew up on like Miss Dynamite, So Solid, Alicia Dixon, Mystique, and for me, she was like a melting pot of all of the influences. Right now, this sound. Voice of the streets, man, I hold it down. Um, some advice I give to a young person trying to break into the music industry is um, definitely look for like your local like organizations like why you are yeah um yeah like that like they have so many great opportunities that are free for young people and you know you get so much information and so much guidance for free um which is very hard to come by anyway so yeah definitely look for programs Get involved. Fresh from London, here we go. Right in the rhythm with a lively flow. If you don't know, then get to know. Jump on a mic and show down the show.